Now a little information on the beautiful city of Vero Beach, home to Grandpa Bob and Terry. Vero's nickname is the Hibiscus City. Motto, the gateway to the tropics. Vero Beach is a city in and the county seat of Indian River County, Florida, United States. According to the 2020 census, the city had a population of 16,354. Nicknamed, the Gateway to the Tropics, the city is situated along the Indian River Lagoon and the Atlantic Ocean on Florida's Treasure Coast. Located at the northern end of the South Florida region, Vero Beach is 85 miles, 137 kilometers, southeast of Orlando and 65 miles, 105 kilometers, north of West Palm Beach. Vero Beach was named the seventh best small beach town in Florida by Southern Living Magazine in 2023. The main roadways in the city are U.S. Route 1 and Florida State Road A1A. History Pre-Columbian See also. Vero Man parts of a human skeleton were found north of Vero in association with the remains of Pleistocene animals in 1915. The find was controversial, and the view that the human remains dated from much later than the Pleistocene prevailed for many years. In 2006, an image of a mastodon or mammoth carved on a bone was found in vicinity of the Veroman discovery. A scientific forensic examination of the bone found the carving had probably been done in the Pleistocene. Archaeologists from Mercyhurst University, in conjunction with the Old Vero Ice Age Sites Committee, OVIASC, conducted excavations at the Old Vero Man site in Vero Beach in 2014 2015. Starting in 2016, archaeologists from Florida Atlantic University joined the old Vero Man site excavations. Post-Columbian in 1715, a Spanish treasure fleet wrecked off the coast of Vero. Eleven out of twelve Spanish ships carrying tons of silver foundered in a hurricane. The remains of the silver attracted pirates. A group of 300 unemployed English privateers led by Henry Jennings stole about 87,500 pounds in gold and silver in their first acts of piracy. The coins still wash to the shore to this day. In 1872, Captain Alan W. Estes officially established the first land patent between the Atlantic Ocean and the Indian River Lagoon, after settling in the area in 1870. In 1893, Henry Flagler S. Florida East Coast Railway began operation through the area. The town of Vero was chartered on June 10, 1919. Vero was officially renamed Vero Beach and was switched from being part of St. Lucie County to become the county seat of Indian River County when it was formed in May 19, 1925. There are many theories on possible origin of the city name, but there's no consensus. Early residential construction in the area often utilized Florida cracker architecture style. During the war year of 1942, the U.S. Navy selected 1,500 acres, 6.1 kilometers 2, surrounding the Vero Beach Municipal Airport as the site of Fort Pierce Naval Amphibious Training Base, a naval air station. Due to the bombing practices conducted during the World War II, there are many buried explosives in the Army Corps officials have conducted ongoing search and clearing exercises for the potentially dangerous items since 2014. In 1951, Barber Bridge was built from mainland to barrier islands. It was later demolished and replaced in 1995 with the Merrill P. Barber Bridge. It is named after Merrill P. Barber who was the mayor of Vero Beach in 1947. In 1957, Piper Aircraft began research and development in Vero Beach. In 1961 Piper Aircraft moved administrative and manufacturing operations to Vero after completing building additions. In 1965, the A1A bridge over the Sebastian Inlet connected the two barrier islands. In 1979, the 17th Street Bridge was completed, allowing a second point of access from Vero Beach mainland to the Barrier Islands industry Vero Beach is home to general aviation manufacturer Piper Aircraft, which is the largest private employer in Indian River County. As of July 2015, Piper employed approximately 750 people. Aside from Piper, the bulk of commercial activity in Vero Beach centers around tourism, the citrus industry and service activities. Retail There are two shopping malls, the Indian River Mall, and the Vero Beach outlets just west of I-95 on State Road 60.
There are small specialty shops along Ocean Drive on the Barrier Island. There are also a set of shops directly inland in what is called Miracle Mile. The historic downtown is a newly revitalized area of shopping, dining, antique stores, and art galleries. Tourism points of interest beaches The beaches in Vero Beach are part of Florida's Treasure Coast. Vero's three main public beaches are South Beach, accessible at the eastern end of Florida State Road 656 at the eastern end of 17th Street, Humiston Park in Vero's Central Beach Business District on Ocean Drive and J.C. Park which is adjacent to Con Beach. There are 26 miles, 42 kilometers, of oceanfront shore in Indian River County. Vero Beach also has other free public access trails and walkways with beach access, such as Riamar Beach, Sea Cove, Sea Grape Trail, Sexton Plaza, and Turtle Trail. Water recreation in the Indian River Lagoon The Indian River Lagoon, passing through Vero Beach, forms a significant portion of the Intracoastal Waterway, and is a hub for boating, fishing, water skiing, diving, kayaking and other small craft waterborne activities. Resorts Disney's Vero Beach Resort is officially located in Wabasso Beach, a small town north of Vero Beach. As of 2021, the city hosts 14 private golf clubs. Historic Dodgertown Vero Beach is home to Historic Dodgertown, which initially started operations during World War II as a U.S. Naval Air Station, and later served as the spring training facility of the Brooklyn Dodgers and successor Los Angeles Dodgers baseball teams, until 2008. After the team's departure for a new spring home in Arizona in 2008, it has served as a year-round multi-purpose facility for athletes of all ages. As of January 2, 2019, MLB has assumed control of the historic facilities with plans to expand the complex and rename it the Jackie Robinson Training Complex. This is to honor both the late Jackie Robinson and the site's history as the first racially integrated spring training center in the American South. Vero Beach had been the spring training home of the Los Angeles Dodgers since 1948. The Dodgers left Vero Beach in 2008 for Glendale, Arizona. National Register of Historic Places Vero Railroad Station McKee Jungle Gardens Driftwood Inn Halstrom House Old Indian River County Courthouse Judge Henry F. Gregory House Mar Building McKee Jungle Gardens Old Palmetto Hotel Pueblo Arcade Royal Park Arcade Theodore Houseman Estate Old Vero Beach Community Building Vero Beach Diesel Power Plant Vero Beach Women's Club Vero Railroad Station Vero Theater Infrastructure Transportation Air Vero Beach Regional Airport as a public airport one mile northwest of Vero Beach, offering commercial jet service by Breeze Airways since February 2023. Bus Vero Beach is served by GoLine bus routes. Rail the Florida East Coast Railway, FEC, mainline bisects Vero Beach, with an active team track in town serving two offline lumber, building products customers, who receive boxcars, flat cars and gondolas. The Vero Railroad Station served the transportation needs of the community and its surrounding agricultural area for almost 65 years from 1903 to 1968. It now serves as a county historical exhibit center. Government. The city government of Vero Beach follows a council manager model form of government with a five-member city council as the elected governing body, from which a mayor is selected by fellow members, responsible for legislative functions such as establishing policy, passing local ordinances, voting appropriations, and developing an overall vision alongside a city manager hired by city council to oversee the administrative operations, implement its policies, and advise it. Members of the city council serve two-year terms with staggered elections.